The Rats is a classic horror creature feature novel with a good mix of widespread disaster mixed in. It's a gruesome horror with which I didn't expect to actually enjoy before I read it. I picked it up for 99 pence on Kindle just randomly because it was on sale and I thought I'd give it a try. It did reverse my expectation while reading it as it did have some very good pacing and it was a simple yet gruesome story of which I genuinely really enjoyed. The Rats was written by James Herbert and it was his debut novel back in the 1970s and in case you're wondering why I'm actually reviewing a book from the 1970s in 2020, I don't fucking know. I picked it up for cheap and it was a good short read so I thought I'd review it for the channel and I quite enjoyed it. So what is the book about? Harris, who is our main protagonist, is a high school art teacher who lives in East London. Bruh. One day, one of his students turns up late to class and claims to not be feeling well after being bitten by a rat, so Harris decides to take the student to hospital. Within 24 hours, the boy dies because of his wounds due to an illness, and the Minister of Health starts to notice an increasing pattern of people being bitten and dying. Mr Hoskins, who is the Minister of Health, starts to look into these ever-increasing cases, and asks Harris to join the team to help him discover what is going on with the rats. Harris agrees to this and the spread of the rats starts to increase exponentially, causing a widespread disaster around the city of London. So what did I think of the book altogether? The rats is simple, gruesome and graphic and it felt to me just how classic horror should feel. It didn't overstay its welcome and the messages were kept simple as to not overshadow the overall plot of the story which I thought was a definite positive. With it being Herbert's debut novel, there are definitely some flaws within this book, but these flaws are too detrimental to ruining the story, especially for me personally. I will get into those criticisms a little bit more later on in this review. But Herbert does manage to paint some very dark and gritty images with his writing, which is why I think he was such an effective and well-established horror writer. As I mentioned, this book does have some good pacing overall. Herbert pads out the main plot of the story with these small sub-chapters, which include short backstories to a single character and it'll take you through the whole course of that character's life in the lead up to their fate with the rats. The first chapter in this book is one of those sort of character pieces and it helps set the tone and the brutality that these rats are capable of. I actually really enjoyed these small chapters that are really focused on these single characters. I both liked them but I also think there was a sort of fundamental flaw that went along with these which is it made me wish that the main characters in this book would have had a similar treatment to these side characters that are in these chapters. Some of these characters are actually deeply flawed and I genuinely felt really sorry for them. Not the main characters, I'm talking about these side characters in these small paced out chapters. The main character Harris is somewhat of a plain character. He doesn't really have any true depth to him and I think that was one of the flaws of this story. Level of backstory that Herbert actually gives to these side characters is I think what he should have gave to the main characters. Now obviously this story wasn't really long enough to facilitate that and it was his debut novel so I think that is somewhat excusable but I think there could have been a little bit more depth to the main characters in this. Harris is quite forgettable and, and he doesn't have any sort of standout flaws or characteristics that I actually can remember because he doesn't have any sort of in-depth character or backstory. There wasn't any real weight or tension to some of the scenes that included him and the rats, not until the end of the story anyway. I think the end of the story actually made up for it, which is why I enjoyed it more overall. But in terms of the lead up to that, I never felt that Harris was in any actual real danger. I always had the feeling that he was going to scrape out of it either by luck or just by being the main character. There are some rules to these rats though that give the overall story a little bit of weight and tension which is the giant rats that are controlling the smaller rats. If someone is bitten by one of these giant rats they tend to die within 24 hours due to the illness that the rat passes on through biting them. All it takes is a single bite for someone to potentially be dead in this story. So that added just a little bit of weight although for some reason when it came to the main character I never felt that that danger was there with them. It was strange to read a book where I felt a bit more weight to the side characters rather than the main character. For some readers that could be a plus as some people just want a nice escapism book and not to be hitting too hard with the feels and just enjoy the story which I think this is one of the positives to this book is it is a book that you can just sort of easily breeze through for some escapism and just enjoy the ride that it gives you. The actual disaster that these rats causes and scope of how 
big this disaster gets is what makes this book enjoyable. Herbert does brush upon some deeper themes in this book such as the lack of care the government can give and being slow to react to the threat of an imminent disaster. It's topical. But I actually like the fact that he only skimmed on it and he didn't sort of make it the main driving force of this story. I think it would have been overall more harmful to the thing that I think Herbert was going for which was just to make an impactful and gruesome horror story. So one of the main criticisms that I did have with the main plot was the fact that Harris was chosen to be a sort of driving force in helping with this natural disaster. So it didn't make sense to me that a high school teacher was given this level of responsibility. It doesn't ruin the book overall because Harris's actions do add some benefit to this team which is why you can see that they would keep him on. Like the way that he acts and the actions that he does do uh, somewhat do make sense when he's doing them. It's when he is first sort of recruited into this team. There is no sort of real reason for them to recruit him and it took me out of the story just a little bit as it didn't make sense. So Harris goes to the hospital to check up on this student and this is when he finds out that the student has died from his wounds and the Minister of Health is there with some of the qualified people I guess and the literally just say to Harris like hey you knew this student you must know something that's going on do you want to join our team and it, it literally just took me out of the story for a little bit I was questioning like this guy is not qualified to do this these guys should not be asking this I think it needed a little bit more work in that area and Harris is just kind of like yeah fuck it I'll help with this ever increase in the number of dead bodies that are turning up because of giant mutant rats I'm an art teacher. It, it was just a little bit strange and it was the main thing that took me out of the immersion of the overall story. I do want to add an extra note right now. Herbert did fix this in his second novel which is The, th uh, the Fog. In The Fog a crack opens up in a road and fog starts to emerge out of it. The main character in that plot is an environment disaster expert so that would totally make sense but a high school teacher joining the Minister of Health to help with a disaster of giant rats it didn't make sense. But Herbert does somewhat fix this when Harris actually starts to take action and show that he does have some value to add to this team. So that's where the plot started to warm up a bit more for me was that I saw that Harris could actually sort of handle himself in this situation. So my only other real criticism I sort of brushed on a bit earlier was that the stakes when it comes to the main character never seemed too high. I never really felt that he was in any immediate danger. And there is a real example that I can give of this in the book. So this is going to be a minor spoiler for one of the scenes. I would say skip. I'll put some timestamps below. I'll just say skip ahead to the outro because this is my last sort of real criticism. Harris works in this school and in one of the scenes the rats manage to invade the school. So the teacher and the pupils barricade themselves into the school to stop the rats getting in. So if this was set up where we knew some of these pupils and we knew some of these teachers... It could have added some real emotional weight to Harris as a character. Let's say if like half of them were wiped out. Herbert would have had a real chance to show some real emotional weight. Especially when it came to the main character in that scene. But nothing really impactful ever really happens. I mean a few teachers die but that's about it. And we don't really know who those teachers are. We don't know their flaws or who they were. We just know them as name and headmaster or something like that. I do have to sort of stress that it was his debut novel. With that being said, overall, I still really enjoyed this story for what it was. When I was reading it, I didn't really want to put it down. And then when I wasn't reading it, I was still thinking about it. And it did give me a real world example of why horror is so effective with people. Is that it made me scared of something that I shouldn't really be scared of. I'll give you a real world example that happened to me. I was reading this book and I was setting off to work. And on my way to the tram stop, I saw something from the corner of my eye and I look up. And there was a rat on the stairs to the tram stop. And I had to go up those stairs. I have no choice. I had to go up. So I had to pass this rat. And I stood there for a few seconds. And I just sort of eyed this rat. And I just looked at it. And I was like, please move. Because I don't want to walk past you. I didn't want to go within any sort of close distance of this rat. I was thinking about this book. And I was like, what if I get eaten alive? Obviously, that is ridiculous. And that wouldn't happen. Rats in real life are quite scared of humans. I had no real reason to be scared of this rat. And that was just a sort of real world example of why I sort of appreciated this book. Because it did have some genuine impact on me in some way. I think there is a good reason that James Herbert was established as a horror writer. He paints a real gritty image and he's not afraid to kill off characters in this book. Such as babies and 
animals and all that gruesome stuff that people usually find uncomfortable he was not afraid to do that sort of thing in his books and it really adds some effective weight to the story but again it only happens to side characters i can't actually remember anything happening to the main character like that and i think that's what would have made this story way more effective so as a quick recap for my review the pros of this story is that it's short and it told the story that it needed to tell and it didn't go any more deeper or pretentious than it needed to be it was a good disaster flick with a lot of brutal and gritty imagery and it made for some decent escapism too and for the cons there wasn't any real weight for the overall tension when it came to the main character and there was that instance of the plot where i was left questioning it and it took me out of the story for a little bit and i think overall that this is an enjoyable read it's made me want to read the trilogy so i'm going to read the other ones maybe review them as well see where the story advances to see what Herbert does with him. I'm actually quite curious. Overall, I'll give the rats a 6 out of 10. Thank you everybody for watching this review. Let me know what you thought in the comments and let me know what you think of the rats and other Herbert novels. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.